In this video, I'll walk through some examples of taking the integrals, or antiderivatives, of exponential functions. Our first one is the integral of 10x times e to the 5x squared. So, if we wanted to take the integral of that, we're going to use u substitution. So this is actually just a special case of u substitution. And when you have an exponential exp uh, expression, or an exponential function, most of the time, if not all of the time, you will use the exponent on e as your u. So let's do that. I'll let u equal 5x squared. du then equals 10x dx. Remember the dx. Well, this one's set up kind of nice for us because now we can just say, well, du is what we're going to plug in for 10x dx. We'll just have du. And then 5x squared is what we're plugging in for, or u is what we're going to plug in for 5x squared. The e still is there, so pay attention to that e. That's still going to be there. So let's rewrite that as the integral of e to the u du. So this one was kind of straightforward. I didn't have to mess with the du or multiply or divide to get du uh, to look like what we had over there. It already did. We had the 10x dx and we could just plug it in there. So let's, uh, let's go on with this one. The integral of e to the u is just e to the u. How about that? So we have the integral of, well, we have e to the u as our answer, plus c, plus our constant of integration. Now we do have to plug in something for u, and that's this. That's the 5x squared. So our answer in the end is e to the 5x squared plus c. Now if you are thinking, hey, wait a minute, uh, does that work? Well, take the derivative of that, use the chain rule, rem remember the chain rule, and you should get back to this function that we were taking the integral of. Next example. What about the integral of 8 to the power of 0.15x dx? In this example, we are still going to use the 0.15x, or the exponent, as u if you have an exponential expression. So I'll do that. I'll say u equals 0.15x. du then equals just 0.15. Remember the dx, because we've taken the derivative. And uh, this one isn't as, as straightforward when we get down to the, when we do the substitution. We need it to look like just dx. So what can we do to this? to get just dx. We don't have a 0.15. Like over here, we had a we had a 10x dx, but we don't have a 0.15. So I'm going to divide everything by 0.15. And that gives you 1 over 0.15 du equals dx. Okay, so I did what I needed to to uh, to substitute in what we have. We just have the dx here, and that's what we have here. So we're going to plug in 1 over 0.15 du in for this dx. I'm plugging 0.15x in, or u in, for 0.15x. So rewriting this, I have the integral of 1 over 0.15 times du. I'm putting it over there just to show what we've done. We've plugged in the point 1 over 0.15 du in for dx. And now we also have 8 to the u power. Okay, this one, taking the integral of uh, some something that's not e to the u. You're going to have to trust me on this. I, I could show you how this works, um, and it's kind of nice how it does work, but 
I'll save your time. It's it's like just a, another substitution to get this to work. But this equals a over u. If you have some some constant raised to the u power, and you're taking the integral of it, that I the integral of that is a over u over the natural log of u, and then of course plus the constant of integration. So I'm just going to use that right here. I'm going to use this this property or this integral, this known integral, and I'll say 1 over 0.15, that's still there, times 8 to the u power over natural log of 8 plus c again. And by the way, if any of you have caught that I should really be multiplying this 1 over 0.15 times the c, you're absolutely right. It it does, it is really like this. It's, it's 1 over 0.15 times the whole uh, integral, but a constant, an unknown constant times uh, 1 over 0.15 just gets us back to a constant. That's why I'm kind of loose with that. But anything else that has a variable, of course, you definitely have to multiply it by whatever you, you have as a multiplier there. So to cut to the chase here, certainly I could I could uh, evaluate for you this for you, but I'm going to cut this one short so that you are not sitting here forever. And I'm going to plug 0.15x in, so 0.15x over 0.15 times the natural log of 8 plus C, and it kind of bothers me to leave that, and I told you I wasn't going to evaluate it, but I'm going to because I I can't leave that f just all all by itself for you. So I'm going to evaluate that denominator and find it as 0.312. So let's rewrite that. This equals 8 to the 0.1. 5x all over 0 0.312 plus that constant of integration, and that is our answer. Now, I did that actually for a purpose. Do not try to go and divide 8 by 0 0.312. Don't do it because you've got an exponent here, and Properties of exponents say that we work on exponents before multiplication or division. So if you were to do that, uh, you would you would mess some stuff up. So you're going to have to leave it like that. And then if you have some value for x, then you could go ahead and um, evaluate this. If you found the particular solution, found the, the value of c uh, later on, if, they, if the problem gave you more information.